things are not going to be as bad. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> huh? Was that Jenna? Hello, everybody. Good morning. It's Thursday, October. What day is it? Seventeen. October seventeen, twenty nineteen. Okay. Today we are contemplating the mystery of the luminous mysteries, right? And we are on the second luminous mystery, or the mystery of light, which is... There are two versions. There are two versions. The uh, Christ's self-manifestation, or otherwise known as the wedding feast at Cana. The wedding at Cana. And uh, these two titles or names of this mystery are hinged upon that particular event when Jesus and Mary, our lady, our mother, uh, were invited to attend a wedding feast in Cana of Galilee. Okay? And wedding feasts are a big, big deal for the Jews. They are really big celebrations and it goes on for days it's not only it's not only a, a one day affair it goes on for days with several rituals um, preparations and celebrations that go along with it now on this particular wedding feast um, so our lady and our lord were guests of the couple and as they were there feasting our lady noticed that the the party was running out of wine and wine was a very important component of any celebration of the Jews they had to have wine and that running out of wine was a big embarrassment I guess it's a big embarrassment for anybody right if you run out of something at a party especially wine You're looking at the wine rack. Yeah, we have enough supply. So, um, and so that was the situation. And Our Lady, being the mother, being the mother that she was, <clears throat> and this is an instinct of all mothers, right? They notice what their children need. They notice what their children lack. They notice what's missing. Okay? They notice what is needed. That is a maternal instinct. And Our Lady was expressing that maternal instinct. She noticed that the party was running out of wine and that it was going to cause embarrassment on the part of the couple, the newly married couple, for their guests to run out of wine. And so what does she do? She knows exactly the solution to it. And she knows, she knows too that for them... For people to have to get out of the house to procure wine from whoever was selling it in town was, was going to add to the embarrassment because it's going to be noticeable. It's going to be uh, apparent to the guests. Oh, oh, they ran out of wine. Ah, they'll see. That's why they're all going out to rush and get wine. It would be more embarrassing to do that. So Our Lady knew how to save face. They knew how to save face for, for the couple. She knew how to help this couple uh, get out of a bad, bad situation. Mm. And the solution was to talk to Jesus. You see, up to this point, our Lord has not yet begun His public life. Eh? He had not yet gone out into the world to begin His public life. He was still very much just the carpenter's son in Nazareth. Nobody knew Him yet. Okay? So he was very much uh, keeping to himself. He had not started his public life. But Our Lady launched Jesus' public ministry and life of miracles and healing right there and then. It was Our Lady who did it. It was because of Our Lady's request when she went to Jesus and asked him, and told him rather. She didn't even ask him really. She didn't beg of him to do anything. She actually dictated on Jesus and said, Son, 
they have no wine. See? That is not that is not like a request and asking, Oh, son, please, can you do something about it? Can you can you please help this couple? You know, it's a pity that they ran out of wine, they're gonna be embarrassed. And can you please? The gospels did not say anything about our lady pleading to our Lord. Our lady acted like the mother that she was. Like, hey, Joseph, please do this. Hey, Chevelle, do that. Our lady acted like the mother, any mother would, and said, Jesus, they have no more wine. And just like you, our Lord perhaps reacted with surprise and said, Why me? What do I got to do with that? It was uh, Mia's mess, or it was <laughs> Sophia's things. Are the, well, why am I going to clean? Why am I going to do it? We can complain, right? Of course, Jesus did not complain, but maybe deep inside him, he asked. No, not only deep inside him, he in fact expressed it. And he asked Our Lady, well, my time has not yet come. That was his response, right? Oh, phone's ringing. His response is, my time has not yet come. What was he trying to tell Our Lady? Mama, I mean... <laughs> I'm not ready. It's it's not time for me to go out into the world yet and 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 start uh, uh, doing miracles and things like that. I I know that's what you're trying to tell me. He must have told Mary, right? Ah, 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 you mommy, you know. I know that's what you want me to do here. You want me to make a miracle, but they, they, my time is not yet up. No, it's not now. And our lady, our lady must have just smiled at him, said, "Well." Deep down inside her, she must also be thinking, I'm your mama. You just got to obey me. <laughs> right? I'm the mama. Oh, boy. And so, and so, what does every good son have to do when mama is asking him to do something? Right? Jesus must just have, I, I could just imagine Jesus maybe just sighing and saying, All right, all right whatever you say right? <laughs> all right whatever you say mama whatever you say you see jesus was very human too even if he was god he was also very human right and he was using his head as said, oh it's not the time for me to go oh but then he also used his heart and said and knew and recognized that our lady was making this gentle request of him to do something about the situation. And our lady just turns around, goes back to the kitchen, and tells the uh, kitchen crew, right? She tells them, okay, just do what he tells you. With complete confidence on our Lord, our lady just goes ahead and tells people, hey, 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 hey people, just do what he tells you. <laughs> right? It's so nice to, to, to look at that scene where, of course, our lady is not going to do it in a cocky manner, right? But I'm just, I'm just uh, the one being cocky here. Our lady would have told everybody in a nice and pleasant way, just do what my son tells you to do. Do what Jesus tells you to do. Right? So beautiful, beautiful interaction between, between our lady okay, and Jesus during this feast of uh, the wedding feast at Cana. But what lesson do we draw from this? What lessons can we draw from this? Obedience. Huh? Obedience. Obedience. Very good. Yes, even Jesus knew how to obey his mother, right? And this is the second time that we have a story of obedience. What was the other time where our Lord obeyed Mary and Joseph in the gospel? Where? Huh? The finding in the, of Jesus in the temple. See, that was when he was 12 years old. This time, Jesus was already 30 years old. Right? Yeah, he was already that old. See, and yet he obeys his mama. Right? And you know what? You know what? Here's a little secret for everybody. He continues to obey his mama even in heaven. <coughs> See? He continues to obey his mama even in heaven.
And so, one very big lesson we can have here is, if we need anything at all Obey your mom. from Jesus, if we want to pray for a special intention, if we want to gain a virtue, if we want to fight against temptation, if we want to get rid of a bad tendency, if we are having a hard time at our work and our studies, if we are having a bad time with people around us, let us go to Our Lady. Let us learn to go to Our Lady and ask Our Lady for help. Okay? Ask Our Lady for help. Ask Our Lady to help us go to Jesus and tell Jesus, we have no more wine. Or tell Jesus, I need this. Or tell Jesus, I need to get rid of this. Or tell Jesus, for me, please, that I, 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 I want to, to have this healing for this friend. Or please tell Jesus that, uh, that uh, we were having a hard time uh, in the family doing this and that. Or tell Jesus all the intentions that we want to bring to Jesus we can bring to him through Our Lady. Our Lady is our ally. Our Lady is our mother. She knows, right? The instinct of the mother. She knows what we need. She knows what we lack. She knows our aspirations. She knows just by looking at us whether we're feeling good or feeling bad. She knows. Our Lady knows everything about us. She's our mother. So let us go to her. Let us go to her because she's going to ask Jesus. And if need be, Jesus is going to perform little miracles for us. Through the grace that he gives us through the sacraments, through the reception of Holy Communion, at Mass, or any other form that we need it. Jesus will bring us, will create the miracle of converting water into wine for us. If we learn how to go to Jesus through Mary. So I think that's going to be the resolution for this uh, mystery. Every time we contemplate this mystery at the rosary, let us think about the intercession of Our Lady. The very powerful intercession of Our Lady who could really almost command Jesus okay, to please perform a miracle. Now, it's not a question of timing. <laughs> now, that's how powerful Our Lady is before our Lord. So let us not uh, 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 hesitate to go to Our Lady, call on Our Lady all the time for anything we need. And Jesus will surely listen to His old mother. Okay, that's it for us, folks. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> Bye. Bye.